Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So let's find out what's going on in your love life. Okay, so what I'm picking up from these energies is an indication that a lot of you are in the process of trying to understand the situation on a deeper level. What I'm sensing is that there's a lot of introspective thoughts that are occurring at this time. There's a lot of energy emanating from within your soul. There's a curiosity. There's a desire to know. It feels as if, you know, you're feeling inspired and there's a lot of things that you're processing inside of your mind regarding the situation. You could be experiencing ideas, you could have some questions, you could have, you know, a desire to find certain answers. It's definitely an energy rooted in wanting to know more, right? So let's see, what is connecting both you and this individual concerned? So clearly there's a very powerful chemistry, a very powerful love between you and this individual. This feels like a connection where the chemistry is truly through the roof. What I'm sensing with this energy is that there might have been an you know, instant recognition of this individual and understanding of their soul. It feels as if, you know, the two of you may have had some sort of feeling that both of you will end up in a relationship. The chemistry could have been instantaneous, the love could have been there, you know, it could have happened really fast. It feels as if things were lining up in order for the two of you to meet each other and things were happening very rapidly, right? So this is an energy that is connecting the two of you. It's still running through this relationship. With this particular card, I'm sensing that, you know, you've been fighting for this connection. Perhaps this relationship with this individual hasn't uh, been the most easiest one to have and maintain. It feels as if there's an energy here of, you know, slight competitiveness, but a desire to win, a desire to move forward. At the same time, I feel like, you know, this has been going on for some time. You've been in this battle mode. What is the energy of the person that you're dealing with? So I see that there's this energy of someone that may have moved away from the situation. This could be you. This could be the individual that you are dealing with. When it comes to this individual's energy, I feel like there's something going on with this person because there seems to be some type of movement and this is not a movement to get away from the situation. This could be a movement that is going within. So I feel like this individual is experiencing something. It's a transition, but it's not really moving away. 
there's another energy connected to this uh, person right now. I'm picking up the energy of someone that's feeling overwhelmed, right? I feel like in terms of this individual healing from whatever happened between the two of you or whatever's going on in terms of the situation, there's a difficulty to do so and this is causing a lot of instability, right? I feel like this individual may have said or did certain things in the course of the relationship and during this period of time they might not be keeping their promises or honoring their word. That's the impression I'm getting from these two cards. But I'm also sensing that there's a lack of peace inside of this individual. Something has left them feeling very unsettled. And that says a lot. Let's begin the clarification process. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. There is going to be an extended reading while we are looking at these energies in greater detail. Yeah. This person, I'm picking up this energy of a lot of pain inside of them. That would explain why... They haven't been able to heal from whatever has been happening between the two of you. There's certain things that have been highlighted during this period of time that are coming to the forefront. These could be issues that were caused during the course of the relationship that they share with you, or this could be coming from somewhere that's very unexpected, somewhere from deep inside of this individual's heart and soul. This feels like an energy of anguish. It feels like an energy of an individual that doesn't have the ability to heal themselves or the ability to figure things out right. So let's look at the next energy. Yeah. This card is in reverse position. It's talking about the fact that your person is feeling a great deal of sadness right now and they haven't been offering you love. They haven't been offering you, you know, kindness or affection. And I feel like you can feel this. You can feel that this individual is either going through something or that they're feeling very strained right now. They could be feeling overly sensitive. What I'm seeing here is that the plans that were made between the two of you, I feel like someone has been constantly going at it, but it also feels at the same time there's a distance between the two of you, right? So perhaps one individual would say one thing, but do another thing. It feels as if one individual is not honoring the promises that they made in the course of the situation. This could be causing a lot of uh, imbalances. It could be causing a lot of pain. I'm noticing that there's some sort of an ending that has occurred in the situation and many of you are experiencing the aftermath of it. There's a lot of pain here that's coming up. A lot of you are thinking about doing something or taking action. You could be feeling inspired in that sense. Yeah, I feel like you're thinking about this person constantly. So this is a very unique energy. It's talking about, you know, the souls yearning for each other, this individual struggling to overcome something. It feels as if there's a lot of anguish inside of them. They're obviously, you know, keeping a distance from you and preventing you from returning back into their life. 
It could be because they're trying to heal from whatever difficulties that they're carrying inside of their heart. I'm, uh, you know, getting the impression that this individual hasn't recovered or is having some sort of difficulty in overcoming something. I'm sensing here that uh, this relationship has been through a lot of ups and downs and there's been changes and you may have witnessed this individual change. You may have changed as a person as well. And I feel like, you know, there's the subtle recognition of what this connection was. But what is this connection right now? Where does it stand right now? That's one of the big questions that you have to be asking yourself in light of what has happened. It feels as if you know, as a result of the changes and transformations, the two of you have become different people. So how do the two of you, you know, um, reconnect with each other? Someone has definitely built up a lot of walls in this situation and they're maintaining a very uh, persistent attitude in respect of the situation. I feel like there's an inability to meet each other halfway just because of these changes that have come about. I feel like in the past, the two of you used to sort of lean on each other, but during this time, it feels as if there's another energy that is intervening, which is talking about, you know, um, complications and things of that nature. I do feel like this individual has gone within themselves and something is happening on an internal level, but there's definitely a sign here that this individual hasn't been able to heal. There's a lot of um, things that they're keeping to themselves and I'm picking up this energy of where there's a lot of walls that have been built up. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking at the feelings and thoughts of this individual as well as their soul energy. What is the right way for you to move forward in regard to this person during this uh, current times? I feel like something is happening on a psychological uh, level for this individual and it's very heavily rooted in the fact that they can't heal their heart and they're carrying this wounded heart, right? And I feel like they're very sensitive during this time, like making the wrong move could push them over the edge or might cause a, a negative reaction. So I feel like you have to be very sensitive to whatever this individual is going through. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.